Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come in, come in, come in. This is Tamika Zen. I'm Tamika. Get on in here, y'all. Get on in here. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. You are now in the den. This is my review recap, y'all, for Tyler Perry's The Oval, Off the Deep End, Season 5, Episode 14. Baby, listen, y'all. Let me tell y'all, I was laughing my ass off, y'all. Victoria got tased. She was on that floor. <laughs> okay, they done locked up. Won't let her out. Hunter's on a warpath. He paid that dag on recording for her. They woke her up on her sleep. Was like, check this your last morning. Okay, you have been warned. You going down, 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 down. And I'm here for every minute of it, child. Listen. Simone was out here, I've been drinking, I've been drinking, and Simone said, I'm on one, I'm turning up, what, bitch, okay, you don't want it with me, she done called up damn Donald, I said, not the drunk calls in the middle of the night to Donald, baby, and we said, we gonna have a meetup tomorrow, and she told Eli, get the hell up on my face, you don't want none of this, I'm telling you right now, meanwhile, speaking of drinking, Richard has is still drunk, okay, he's sitting here, pouring out his heart to Sam, and you know, calling Sam out, on the stuff he did to Scylla because he said, baby, I know how she feel, right? And we questioned him whether Barry is our child and we like, well, I guess I got to get him back, but, you know, in order to do the damn paternity test and find out what's what. Now, child, one thing Nancy gonna do is get in that kitchen and chef it up. She done made damn Scylla a big-ass breakfast and she ain't got no breakfast to make, you know, Richard. And what the hell is going on? Jason, what your crazy behind about to do? He done ran up in here grabbing up Nancy. Lord, this is why I wanted Jason taken out a long time ago. If we're not going to be able to use him for what we got to use him for, then Jason got to go because what is he doing with damn Nancy? I'm scared for her, okay? She done got taken by the damn rack of douches already. Granted, I know she ain't in the best of graces right now, but I still don't want damn Jason to hurt her, y'all. Now... These FBI agents, baby, I don't know what the hell they got going down. I swear to y'all, they're going to get somebody taken out, if not they damn selves, okay? Talking about some, the woman I love and the man I love. I said, if y'all don't get the hell up out of here, you know, child, but he was asking the right questions because I was wondering what the hell was going on with Bobby and these tears in his eyes talking about freaking allergies. Now, we also have, you know, um... You know, uh, Cal and Max, I mean, Cal and Dell, y'all, over here chilling, you know, romancing at the damn house or whatever the case may be. And I said, Lord Dell, you really playing the role, baby, okay? You going on in, I see, talking about some, you know, just hurry up and give me my drinks. I just want to drink and think about how crummy my damn life is. Baby, let's go ahead and get into this episode. Break it on down. Take it from the top. You know how we do. So, y'all, when I tell y'all that I had the best laugh off of this freaking episode, I always tell y'all one thing the over gonna do is make me laugh. I definitely needed this was the medicine that the doctor ordered, honey, because we started out this episode of picking right up where we left off with Hunter basically letting them know, like, yo... You gonna need to go ahead and wake up Victoria Raggedy behind, okay? Get her up out of here. You know, I need her to be put inside the bunker ASAP or whatever the case may be. And we go to her room or whatever and, you know, we telling her to get her ass up out this bed. And she over here, what you doing in my room? I'm sleeping. I said, I'm sleeping. She's like, I know I gotta be dreaming and I know I gotta, you know, have had to hear you wrong. He said, nah, ma'am, you ain't dreaming, okay? This the real damn world. Wake up. This gonna be your last warning. You know, you are being summoned to the daggone president's bedroom right now. He wanna see you. And so... Of course, we telling her, like, either you can go willingly or your behind could get dragged the hell up out of here. Which one you want to do? You know, oh, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. But, baby, didn't they like that ass up? <laughs> they taste Victoria. And Victoria was rolling around on that damn floor, bitch. Aha, look. And then he like, you know, okay, stop or whatever. And he's like, you know, are you going to go now? You know, yeah, I'm going, right? 
And so we get in this room with Hunter or whatever, and we saying, what's going on? Have you lost your damn mind? Why are you doing this and all of that? Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. And Hunter was like, nah, I'm doing it because I know all about you and your damn games. You cannot play with me no more, Victoria. You know, ain't nobody got time for that. And he basically plays one of the recordings and let her know that there's still another one. You know, you can't lie to me because this is your damn voice coming through this speaker loud and damn clear that's breaking everything down that you had planned with the freaking guy guy you know and this the, the dea agent in this damn pharmacy and she's like no you're not understanding it you know you so damn dumb and he was like yeah you done told me i was dumb 50 11 times i get it but the thing is look at you and where you standing and where i'm sitting okay so in other words you the damn dummy right now you got max and bobby sitting in the car and we find out bobby got a damn camera up in the white house i said okay bobby i see you you know he's talking about he done left a camera in the oval but we like yo you gotta hurry up and get back there and make sure that you're the one that check it you know how much trouble you could get in if they go ahead and sweep it and you know check and see what you did and what you got in there whatever and he's like yeah i am gonna make sure that i'm the one to get it right and basically i want this to be able to be proof to give to um um, Simone. So then, of course, you know, Max looking like, what, something going on with you, damn Simone now? Like, you want her? And he's like, nah, I don't want her, whatever, right? Um, It's not about that. We just gonna be getting to the bottom of this and proving what the hell is going on. And so we like, okay, if you say so, you know, you acting like you know everything that you doing, I hope that you right. So, you know, um, Hunter had them take them, you know, <laughs> Victoria down to the freaking, um, bunk or whatever. Of course, she was trying to fight it off and say she wasn't going to go, but her ass ended up having to go whether she wanted to or not. And Hunter, of course, you know, what I want, I get, and what I say goes or whatever. He was trying to come at the security that he had, the new agent, and basically be like, yeah, you know, you could take her out and all of this. And he was like, nah, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. It's certain rules that we have to follow. And technically, you're not the president until you get the vice president out of office. He's the one that's standing in right now until, you know you're back in and certain things that we still can't do and hunter try to be funny and be like what are you a lawyer and he's like yeah that's exactly what the hell i am so hunter just had to be like oh okay you know and in the meantime he was telling hunter i'm not just gonna tell you what you want to hear and like all these other dudes is right i'm gonna break it down for you and tell you the truth and the real deal of how it works so hunter started telling him about jason and the fact that he really ain't you know unalived and that he feels like his mom tried to get him and he said well that's even more charges that we could bring up on her you got to get all this information out and have it all recorded so we can lock her away for good plus we of course know that we have proof now that her and Zam, you know, Eli been getting it on. So he like, well, that's another one, you know, understood, Mr. President. Like, I could see why you freaking in here bugging out the way you are, right? Not knowing all the trash shit that Hunter done did, but nonetheless, I digress. And so he's asking him if he's ever been a chief of staff before. And he's like, no, sir, I haven't. You know, we got all this different um, military experience or whatever. And he's like, yeah, at least, you know, 15, at least. And so... He was like, well, guess what? You will basically have that job once I get the oval back. You're going to be my man. And, you know, Isaac is over here like, deal. You know what I'm saying? Sound good to me. But he says he would want to bring in his own team. And Hunter's like, you know, are these guys that are like you? And he said, yeah, they are the best in the business, sir. So, yeah, we on and popping with this, right? And Hunter say, in the meantime, he want to get some sleep. And then was asking him if he spent a lot of time in combat. And he said, yeah. And he said, well... You know, do you know anything about psychological warfare? Oh, sure. I know a whole lot about it. You know, so we want you to go down there and torture the hell out of Victoria and see what the hell you can get up out of her. And, uh, yeah, uh, sir, I got that handled right. I can definitely handle that. Okay, consider it done with pleasure, sir. So then he go ahead and leave out. I said, child, Victoria, they about to torture your ass. What they gonna be doing? Waterboarding? So... Zell get over here with freaking Cal, you know, Cal over here locking up the door, and Zell like, all right, you got me here, what's good, you know, where's the damn drinks at, <laughs> I'm ready to get this damn drinking, and you know, Cal is like, finally, or whatever, right, and so, um, you know, he go ahead and sit down, Zell, and he like, what are we doing, and so, 
Cal is like, well, let's just, you know, relax and have a drink first. And he's like, do you want to hear some music? And Zell was like, nah, I just want to be in the quiet with my damn thoughts. Think about how shitty my damn life is to have a drink. And he like, you know what? I'm really loving this new vibe, this new Dell that you're giving me or whatever, right? And Zell's like, you know, glad you like it, right? And so he at this point is saying, what do we have to lose? And so then when Kyle come over and sit down and bring the drinks, he over here talking about some, you know, can we just get into it and relax, relate, release, and, you know, get on to the bed with the damn sexual healing. And he over here spreading his damn legs apart. I said, child. And, of course, Dell is basically bringing up, like, you know, the last time that I was over here messing with you, let's not forget that, of course, Donald was trying to take me out. But, we, you know, we don't want to talk about that. And so after we do our little cheers and stuff like that, and you know, when um, freaking Kyle threw one of his legs over the damn chair, like if he was supposed to be looking so sexy and he was asking him that he wanted to blow and he like, nah, I'm good on all of that. You know, I said no. He get up as if he about to kiss him, but he like, I gotta go to the bathroom. So Kyle's talking about some, yo, I'm not stupid. I know you've been recording me since we got in here. You know, turn that recording off on your phone. And he like, what are you talking about? Now, I don't know if he was ever recording him or if that was just in damn Kyle head or whatever, right? But he took the phone out and threw it at him. So I guess he wasn't. And he was basically like, uh, check it, go through it. Look whatever you want to look for while I'm busy in the damn bathroom, okay? And so, you know, he walks away and Kyle was just sitting there looking stupid. Now, you know, we then got to also a conversation between these damn federal agents, child, and I'm just sorry, but I feel like it's giving me dumb and dumber. They don't have no authority. They doing this on a sneak tip. They damn boys don't know about it. You know, they get in a call from Allen where he's updating them like, yo, Jason was here. And they like, what the hell do you mean he was there? He was here, you know, but he's not here now. No, I don't know where he went to. He didn't tell me or any of that. You know, do you think he's going to come back to you now? I'm not really thinking he going to come back. Was there anybody else that he was close to in the White House? You know, no, nobody else that I could think of, right? And why would he come to you? They ask um, Allen and it's like, because he looks at me as a friend, you know. Oh, really? He think y'all friends? Yeah. So they like, okay, in the meantime, we're going to put somebody on you just in case. And he was telling them no. But they was like, no, trust me, we're going to do it the right way. It's going to be somebody that's undercover. As soon as they hang up the phone, they like, well, you know we should out of luck, right? Because we really ain't got nobody to send you. So obviously it's going to have to be one of us that's going to have to stay on guard and not sleep. And then the other person get their sleep. And then we're going to go back and forth, you know, no, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. And, you know, I'm not going to have the man that I love and the woman that I love I'll out there well i'll relieve the man that i love so i'm like and y'all mixing it up too on top of this y'all don't look competent as the damn is so i do feel like they're gonna probably mess this up you know they was also telling alan that he did a great job and they downloaded all the info he gave and that is definitely gonna be a help right now in the meantime child Simone over here drinking up a damn storm, baby. I don't know how much was in that bottle when she started, but it sure enough wasn't that much left. And she, at this point, she looked like she was just as wasted, if not more wasted, than Richard was. And she over here calling up Donald like, yeah, hello, uh-huh, is this Donald? And he like, girl, are you drunk dialing me right now? Like, you sound like you don't have some damn sips. And she like, yeah, that's none of your damn business. Why are you concerned with that? And he like, well, what can I do for you, second lady? Because he was like, who is this? And she basically said, you know, Simone. And so she's like, yeah, you was right, Donald. Okay, they are screwing or whatever. And I'm sure you know much more than that. Go ahead, spill the tea and tell me the rest of what you know. And he was like, no, just kept telling her, I don't think this is a conversation for her right now. I think you need to go lay your behind down and sober up and, you know, let this get off of you a little something, something. And this is not the time for us to talk. But well, how about we meet up tomorrow and you tell me what you know and I tell you what I know. You know, she over here, you know, Victoria's trash, Eli's trash. They both trash, and if you rock with them, and you be doing all this stuff for the first lady, then obviously you got to be the scum of the earth and trash too, or whatever, right? And then he's like, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. So she was like, yeah, you think I'm stupid? I'm really going to meet up with you and talk to you for what? And he was like, so that way we could be on the same page, and you could know what I know, and you know, you know, you can know what I know, and I can know what you know. 
So she does say, yeah, you know, she'll do that. And she go ahead and hang up the phone on him. At this point, Eli bring his raggedy behind downstairs. And he just as clueless as I don't know what. He over here talking about some, what's going on with you? You know, what's happening right now? You know, are you supposed to basically still be upset that, um... You know, you want to talk or whatever. And she's like, no, I don't want to talk. I want to be left alone. And then he's asking her who she was talking to on the phone. I could have sworn I heard you on the phone. She's like, nope. And I don't want to talk about anything with you right now. I'm good. And so, you know, he was like, I knew this was happening. I knew this was coming. And she was like, you knew what was coming exactly. And he's like this. He was like that you would start drinking. That you would get mad. That you would be in your feelings. And she was like, oh, and what exactly do you think I'm mad about, Eli? Why don't you tell me about that? Oh, you're mad because you had to apologize to the first lady. Of course, she starts cracking up like, you so freaking dumb and ain't even damn funny, okay? Is that really what you think is about? And he's like, okay, tell me then what it's about. She said, like I said, I don't want to talk to you right now. I think you should listen to me. And he's like, why not? And she was like, because if I do, then baby, I'm going to bust you over the head with this damn bottle, okay? And he's talking about, see, Simone, Simone, Simone. On. this is what I don't be like and I don't like when you get with like this and I'm not sleeping with her and he, she's like boy don't do that don't sit and play in my damn face don't lie to me and act like you know I'm crazy or whatever the case may be and of course he gonna go on and on and on about how he not lying when we damn well know that he is and the fact that he can even sit there with this straight face just irritates my soul and my spirit so I can understand how Simone is feeling she tell him back the hell up off her because she you know he was trying to take the bottle from her and she he's like you're gonna give me that bottle you gonna put it down she was like no nah, i'm not putting down a damn thing okay you ain't gonna tell me what the hell i could do or not do what i'm gonna do what the hell i want to do with it right and so he's like telling her that's enough and he was like you know this is how you was when you went to the white house and this is what got us in this predicament in the first place and she said boy don't talk to me he was like okay yeah i'm gonna go back to bed because i don't want to hear this crap right and she said no your raggedy ass made me apologize to her and then he said i can't do this and she was like oh you can't talk with me but you could talk with her you know oh i can't deal with this bullshit simone she was like oh so now my feelings is bullshit you know, of course, he's talking about you being delusional, absolutely delusional. And she was like, man, don't be acting, you know, trying to make me feel like I'm crazy. And he was like, that's the way you acting. So, you know, at that point, she just was like, boy, bye. Okay. And he still was trying to be like Simone, that's enough. And then when he seen that it wasn't going to be no getting through to her and she ain't going for his bull crap, then he just went back to the bed. So I said, so much for Simone playing it off and being nice to him, honey. She said, I ain't got time for that. So we go right from one drunk to the other drunk because then we got Sam bringing Sam, you know, Richard home and talking about be careful and Richard, yo, man, okay, thanks, I'm okay, you okay, man, you all right with me, you all right with me, man. I said, sit your ass down, Richard, you know, he telling him have a seat, be careful. So Richard go ahead and sit down and, you know, he was saying, do you want to get upstairs or whatever? He said, nah, I'm good on that. I don't want to go upstairs, right? But he told Sam he could have Barry room and Sam is basically like, thanks for that or whatever. I know I appreciate it. And so we going to start talking about, yeah, I don't know, yo, you know, I might have to go ahead and test Barry. I'm just saying Nancy was around here humping around up, down, side to side, left and right. <laughs> with my damn daddy so i don't trust nothing right now right but in order for us to even be able to do a paternity test i would have to find him first so you know of course sam is like yeah we gonna be on that we gonna find him don't worry about it and then we gonna get into again like you know how is it that you did what you did to priscilla like not for nothing i can understand how priscilla feel especially with me going through what i went through with you know nancy and finding all of this out so he like come on now you know richard chill with that or whatever you making me feel worse than what i already feel i don't need you rubbing it in my face i already told you why that happened he said yeah but you could have went to any woman and so you know sam personally was like yo i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and go upstairs to bed he was like yeah i knew that would make you you know take your behind and lay yourself down and get out of my damn face or whatever right and so <coughs> <clears throat> that was pretty much that with them now um you know of course they also had a back and forth about how hunter made him you know taste the soup and how um you know he made them sam walk around with the freaking blanket over his head and how crazy they are 
So here go FBI agent Cal, okay, not Cal, but Cal, K-A-L, sitting in the cars in the cut thinking he on the freaking lookout and, you know, he supposed to be creeping and he busy talking to his partner, a.k.a. his girlfriend, as we found out. And he's saying how he see the both of them sitting there or whatever and that more than likely they looking for the same thing that he looking for or whatever and should he go over and talk and she's like nah you just sit there and she say that she coming and he was telling her nah she ain't gotta come you know here come bobby baby with the piece getting in the car like hey there okay what the hell you doing over here who the hell are you and cal is like you know fbi okay we on this case can't really go into too much details you know aren't you bobby and it's like how the hell you know my name how you know who i am you know oh we know about the body that was at the white house we know about you know the president was going on and he's like okay that's things that would be public knowledge that wouldn't be hard for you to find out and he was like oh we know about you know you and um and the other you know what you call it and so he was like how the hell you know that he was like like i said we've been watching y'all be on this case so i actually think that we want the same things you know we're both here about the boy he was here earlier and we back here just in case if he comes back around and so you know why are you here for him or whatever oh because we want to protect him you know, and so we could possibly be on the same side. Now, mind you, the whole time Bobby talking, I'm going, why the hell am I seeing tears in Bobby's eyes? Is Bobby crying? What's happening? It was so relieving to me when <laughs> Cal asked him, like, what's with the damn tears, bro? Okay. And he over here talking about allergies. I said, okay, I guess. So, you know, we just had a back and forth where it was actually like Cal was given the majority of the um information or whatever. And he let him know like this, you know, this is completely off the books or whatever, but it's a big case and you're involved into it. And so he was like, you know, telling about Max getting shot and telling about, you know, the dead body, like I said. And he said, well, that shit could be on the news. He said, yeah, but I know about you. And of course, the chief of staff, you know, what I'm saying wife and all that. And I got it from a reliable source, basically talking about Lily or whatever. Right. And so now we know that he takes, you know, his card or whatever and was like, if everything you say and check out, then I may have some stuff that I want to say to you too. And his girl was on hold all that time. When he get out, it looked like, you know, he had been holding his breath and ready to piss on himself while Bobby was in there holding that gun. So you see him taking like a big sigh of relief. And she's still saying she gonna come down and he like, nah, you don't have to. And she's like, no, I'm on my way. And he's just like, okay, whatever, fine. So now... You know, we basically had, um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought for a minute. We had Kareem and, um, his cousin in the cell arguing back and forth. He feel like the cousin gave too much info. I'm like, listen, y'all lives was on the line either way with Hunter. You could have went, you know what I'm saying, been taken out. Like, I actually agree with the cousin. Like, listen, they brought me here. I'm going to tell them what I need to tell them so that we could possibly get the hell up out of here. What the hell you involved my name into it for and brought me here if you didn't want me to tell them everything. And he, like, tell them the stuff that you know because there's still other things that you know too. And Kareem is over here like, no, it's actually not no other things that I know. And he was like, you ain't getting no other calls from nobody. He's saying no, which I don't know whether that's true or not, but he's like, the only calls I was getting and the only information I had basically came from you and then he's like damn Sharon is locked up and I can't even get to her or whatever and on top of that you know do you think she told them about seeing Barry body and he's like hell yeah she told them what the hell you think like is that even a question and so basically he like shit either way I'm screwed then and then he said yeah pretty much now you see in the bigger picture so in the midst of them arguing back and forth here we got Victoria being dragged in and she you're gonna regret this you're gonna regret this get off of me get off of me let me go let me go I said drag her drag her and they both looking and talking about what's going on you see who that is yo don't say nothing don't say nothing don't say nothing and victoria you behind bars just like them but yet you still trying to come in like you freaking demanding something you know what's going on who are y'all i said who the hell are y'all y'all asses answer me now you don't see me talking to you i'm the first lady yeah you the first lady that's behind damn bars right now lady so you really don't have no damn power okay and 
she took him on some answer me now or whatever and then she just basically like you know never mind forget it or whatever right like i got my own damn issues to worry about i'm gonna find out who the hell y'all are anyway eventually so if you want to sit there and just staring at me like i'm stupid you know go ahead and play this game or whatever she basically says to them and she like shit you know, and then start realizing again, like, I'm behind damn bars just like these freaking fools, right? I need to be worrying about that. Now, Nancy in the kitchen, chefing it up, child. Okay, she done already packed, you know, still a lunch. And still is basically like, girl, if you be getting up and cooking like this every morning, you can stay as long as you want to. These are the kind of breakfasts that you be making, you know, um, Richard. And she like, yep, sure do. So she's like, um, you know, I only got a few minutes. And she was telling her... Well, you know, first she told her I have to leave to go to work. And then she said, you don't even have a few minutes. Yeah, okay, I do. So she was telling her, go ahead, drink her tea, coffee, whatever it was in the cup. And in the meantime, I got this packed up for you. And so she was like, girl, stay as long as you want. I said, girl, watch what you say. Because Nancy sure enough was like, listen, I'm going to take you up on that, okay? You know, there's the least I could do. And then she was saying like, well, what are you going to do with your day? And Nancy was like, I don't know yet. She said, you know what? Let me check to see if Richard canceled my credit cards or whatever, right? And she was like, I don't think he would do that. And she said, girl, he was real mad, so I don't put nothing past him at this point. So in the midst of her, you know, still leaving and her going ahead to call the number and see what's going on with the credit card because she ends up being like, that triggers a memory for her where she's like, oh, shit, actually, Barry had my credit card. So let me call it and check it because if he used it anywhere, you know, I could see when the last time he used it and that could potentially help us to get somewhere with where he is and stuff like that. And she's like, good idea. Girl, while she was on the damn phone, y'all, and here come freaking Jason raggedy ass. I said, so Jason know how to climb walls. Come through people damn houses. Tessilla, you telling me you don't lock your damn doors or nothing? Able to grab up freaking Nancy, yoke her up, and she over here talking about some I got freaking asthma. And he like, I don't give a damn. And choking her and holding her the hell up. Now, what you plan on doing with her, Jason? What are you supposed to get out of this? And how the hell did you even think about going over here to Silla House from freaking Allen House? I'm like, if y'all don't cut it out the oval, seriously, seriously. Child, y'all just really trying to rag damn Nancy all through the damn mud, y'all. Y'all don't give a damn about Nancy. <laughs> anyway, y'all, that was the episode. Tell me what y'all thought about it, what you liked, what you didn't like, all that good stuff. You know, what you rated and everything else. Um, <laughs> What you think gonna happen? What you think he gonna be doing with damn Nancy? What is the next step? Um, it looked like in the preview, like Sam is getting a, I'm not sorry, not Sam, but Richard is getting a call from Barry. We got damn Dale in the freaking bed with Cal. So I guess he said, listen, I got to do a little something strange. Okay. And, um, we still going to have, you know, Hunter trying to get whatever out of freaking Victoria, whatever his damn payback going to be with that. It's a whole hot mess, y'all. <laughs> but give me a wave. Let me know you came by. Put some flames up in the sky. Like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you are so inclined. See y'all next time. Tulu. <laughs>